you guys about Mansfield Park, the movie. Uh, it was this one that I'm watching, I think was done in 1999. It's streaming on Netflix. I don't recognize any of the actors who are doing it, and I don't know who produced it originally. Going into this movie, I knew absolutely nothing about it, uh, other than that it was based on the book I had just read. And, oh boy, was I in for a surprise. So, <laughs> I'll just get right into the meat and potatoes here with my likes and dislikes. I actually enjoyed, it was overall a pretty fun experience. Um, there's lots of drama, lots of gossip, lots of karma, lots of like social machinations to try to get people to marry other people. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun as a typical kind of Regency era movie is, especially of the ones of Jane Austen. The pacing here was really good. I actually preferred it a lot to the movie. They cut out a lot of like the lecturing tones that you got with some of the conversations. And so that really increased uh, how quickly the story moved forward, which I really, really enjoyed. You got to the really interesting stuff a lot quicker and you didn't end up with a lot of dragging because of the really dry conversations a couple of the characters would have. And my third positive is that they kept all of the karma in the movie. Nobody really got to uh, slip by unnoticed. Everybody that had issues and screwed other people over, got what was coming to them in the movie as they did in the book. Uh, I say it this way because partway through a few things were diff a little bit different and I was really concerned at how much or how true this adaptation was going to be. And now we'll move into my dislikes. I only have two listed, but one of them is like a bajillion things all summarized in one point. So it stands for like 10 things I didn't really care for because they took a lot of creative liberties with the book. There were flat out scenes that occurred in the movie that did not happen in the book. The most egregious of which involved Henry Crawford. <laughs> and so even though like the umbrella kind of story stayed the same, how they got from point A to point B just like really wasn't a lot of fun because so many things that I had enjoyed in the book were changed and some of them I wasn't expecting to be changed because it would have been so easy to just keep the previous, like how it was done previously. And I could, I literally could go on for hours, just ask my husband. <laughs> he had to listen to a lot of it. And I was, we were just doing a voice call on our computers while I was watch, streaming the movie and so he got to hear me complain about things with just no idea what was actually going on. I imagine it was very confusing for him. My second negative, on top of the creative liberties they took with like the plot and some of the order things happened in, they actually changed Fanny quite a bit in my opinion. Well, she still has some of her conviction, um, they changed her personality a little bit. She's a lot, mo lot more outgoing. She, was a, she came off on screen a lot more like Lizzie Bennet or Emma would and not as timid or it, as she was in the book she I would even argue that her strength of conviction was a lot less in the book I just I feel like although they made her a lot more appealing on screen because of this that it really did her character a really great disservice because a few things that I think were just really integral to her character were completely skipped over just in an effort to make her more appealing and with that I will just move on to the characters. I don't really have much to say here because the most I have to say is complaining about how they changed Fanny, and I've already done that. In terms of the movie itself, the characters were pretty fun on screen. I think the actors and actresses did a pretty good job with them. Given With the characters they were given, their flaws were really well represented, their selfishness was really well represented, but there were just so many changes to how the characters interacted and some of their actions that I had a harder time connecting to them here than I did in the book. And then again, just of these changes, Fanny's to me was the biggest and the one that kind of pulled my immer against my immersion the most. So now I'm going to wrap up. Do go just jump right into my wrap up here. And I was really torn on this movie because in terms of a book to movie adaptation, I think it was like, I set the bar too high based on the other 
Jane Austen movie adaptations I had seen. Uh, they did a really, really good job, like Sense and Sensibility, where Emma Thompson wrote the screenplay, uh, the Hollywood version of Pride and Prejudice, and the BBC version of Pride and Prejudice. Like, they all did such a good job. And this one did, like, a mediocre job, in my opinion. <laughs> so, I gave the book to movie adaptation for this 2.5 out of 5. It was alright. Like, I... There were... They stayed faithful to the overall story but just like I had mentioned earlier going from point A to point B they changed how they would do the stuff to get to point B and they changed Vanny they changed they added scenes that never happened in the book I had a lot of what the hell is going on moments while I was watching and I just because things were happening that I just couldn't get behind because they weren't in the book so if you've read this book, I would actually hesitate to recommend this movie to you just because it changes so much. By the time I got to the end, I kind of felt like I was hate watching it just to finish it and it really wasn't that bad. Because going just to the movie review part of this, it was actually like a pretty good movie. I giving it a 3.7 or 3.5 out of 5 because if you don't know anything about the book, it's a fine like time period movie the actors were good the story was fun to follow there was karma there was drama the characters were easy to identify like it wasn't pr and they used a lot of the cinematography that i like in movies like this where they do a lot of dramatic cuts to heighten whatever emotion is being is playing between two characters like, not all of, like, and the, for the main actors, I think they did a pretty good job. Some of the supporting actors I didn't care for as much, like, Fanny's biological mother, Fanny's aunts, uh, Mr. Rushworth, one of the cousin's love interest, or marriage prospects, and just, like, and everybody did a good job, and some of them just didn't, I feel like, didn't fit the role, like, aesthetically, and there's nothing wrong with that, and in there, fine. And as enjoyable as it was, I'm never going to watch it again. It's not one of these movies that's going to linger with me forever. But if you have never read the book, it's so much more worth your time to watch this movie. I, like I said, I would really just hesitate to recommend it if you've read the book. Uh, and you like having really accurate adaptation. So I'm going to stop here before I rant for like way, way, way too much longer. And I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace.